so I've been like getting a bit more into finance again. I'm um, just looking at like graphs more and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't think people realize how significant uh, time context is because I, I keep seeing online, right? Like, so one area where I haven't really criticized vendors has been in terms of pricing, but more so raw price per perform price to performance or like let's say bang for buck if you want to look at it that way in terms of that metric but i genuinely don't think people understand how important context is because you have to understand if you're going to look at like um let's just give it a, a cpu launched in uh okay let's pretend like we're gonna go down that that road where we say okay well the i7 would be what the i9 should be so um we might criticize intel and say look um you know the i9 at you know 550 now that it is is um a reasonable price for the flagship being that it used to be 700 so 550 seems like it makes more sense and even where i live it's come down in price um and you might be like okay well it's a better deal it's it's you know it's okay but we still believe that you should be paying um you know the old flagship money because the i9 monaco was started or uh you know adopted as a as a way of you know increasing the the price tier and making more money but i think you know judging by how i know intel make their their old lake and the raptor lake stuff i don't think they're making a lot of money guys i don't think they make a lot of money at all on their current parts i think they're selling um damn near cost to gain more adoption and you know simple simple uh you know evidence for that is just their market that's in their their margins and you know the fact that they're losing money they're losing a lot of money um they're not profitable right now and it, it's it can't be it can't be lack of adoption because but what has amd been selling barely anything right so there's no way um intel have been you know well i mean you could you could argue it's um high end desktop stuff and, and laptop stuff sure sometimes but um intel facts are i have just not been making much in the silicon because they're just not really you know upselling that much the margins just on the high on their stuff and um if you really think about it right let's just pretend like we weren't paying i9 money and let's just pretend like intel left the i7 moniker and they were selling us i7s with you know 24 total cores so 8p cores and like 16 cores and let's say they were charging us um you know old i7 money which is like 3 330 right well if you go back to like 2012 and you look at something like like gold or you know silver or a lot of different like stock indexes if you look at certain properties if you look at crypto what 330 dollars could buy you in 2012 or 2013 compared to now is like it's not even comparable dude like it's like inflation is so bad so bad that you literally like these these parts aren't even like this isn't even anything really i mean um the truth is inflation is just so bad that it's nothing like the 4090 at 15 or 1600 dollars it's just nothing i mean yeah, you know, our flagships cost like what a titan was a thousand dollars in 2013 that would have been the, the 4090 right so you could say the 4090 is 60% more expensive than what it's um you know linear compared that it would have been which is the, the, the titan it's not it's not the the a bit of a 780 you know right yeah the 780 i came out that was like the titan but like you know brought down to a more reasonable price like, no this is a this is a titan so the 4090 is a titan but is is its price really that weird when you think about it because if you compare a lot of things a lot of commodities a lot of what your buying power had in 2013 versus now even cars like i said houses food um just a lot of things guys like i mean um goodness i don't know what the price of drugs were but like even even i mean i maybe i don't know i but the the buying power of of uh you know your money back at like you know 2013 which is 10 years ago now so 10 years of of the competitor of uh, of this thing of the the ultra high end gpu and you know we've seen a 10 year gap of about 
you know, 60% is what NVIDIA charge for their, their mock-up. Now, if the Titan comes out, then that's a different story, but it, it won't come out. Um, the 4090i might come out. That you could maybe call a Titan, I guess. And then the, what would this be? This would be like the, the 780i or... And then I guess it would be like a bit over 2x, so then it would be, you know, more than 100%. It doesn't matter. Um, the fact is that if you're trying to compare you know it just doesn't make sense guys in this this there's literally nowhere nowhere where it makes sense and, and 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 it's hard to maybe grasp if you aren't into like or if you don't look at these kinds of things and it is difficult to sometimes because it's dep a bit depressing to be honest um i just if you look at a graph of like gpu price to performance or cpu price to performance it's like you get all these magical numbers but like contextually you never get told like what did this item actually sell for what was the stock like like you always get these magical totals that never really tell any story like oh this cpu would have cost this much in 2017 and this cpu cost this much now and now this one is this performance per fps and this and that but doesn't talk about multi thread performance and doesn't talk about this or that or whatever and then you know you talk and then it doesn't tell you oh this one supports pcie this and this one does that and and then gpus like oh this one costs this five years ago and this one cost this now so how can this and and it's like oh it takes meant to get better performance better and thing is people don't understand how much their money is actually devalued like compare the price of what you could have invested into like csgo skins even if you want to go by gaming gaming numbers um a fire serpent um ak you know that 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 would have 15x at least um at least 15x by this point and stuff like the howl the howl it's like a hundred thousand, maybe a hundred to a hundred to a thousand X, something ridiculous like that. The Dragon Law, um, compare Dragon Law when it launched uh, on the Steam market was about what, I, I can't even convert, maybe in that time with how my currency conversion would have been, um, it would have looked like $500 in the Steam market maybe, I don't know, something like that, maybe a bit less, some, I don't know exactly how much in, in dollars, because I my, my market's in Rand, but um, in dollars, whatever it would have cost in the Steam market when it first launched, Compared to now, I mean, talk about just that's gaming items. If you want to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum and and like Litecoin and um, commodities like gold and 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 like certain types of properties, baseball cards, art, like nah, man, like PC parts have not really moved at all. Like I don't want to say underpriced because that would be unwise and honestly. The reason why we take parts so personally is because we look at PCs as something that's like more of a childhood hobby, where it's like a hobby that us as adults have, ado have adopted, like from childhood till adulthood. And like, you couldn't really afford the high-end parts when you were a child because you didn't have like income streams. But now as an adult, you're like, okay, well, I can afford them now, but I don't want to pay like fair inflation valuations because there are still PC parts for gaming. So you like, you want to pay a low price and expect like best price performance and then like your know, company's margins seem to have increased and stuff but um i guess that's a fact that's a pretty important factor too um margins have gone up over the years but really realistically speaking guys like if you get hung up about price performance it's just stupid like you don't want to go down that road man like if you if you when people start arguing about oh th this part cost x amount in 2014 like just go look at the price of gold in 2014 like you you could have bought you could have bought that and 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 had like a three x to a four x um, increase like some it depends obviously what your currency is like because that also affects um, you know what you'd see on the graph but um, literally like there's there's really no point and what what I'm trying to get to is there's no point getting hung up about it like that it 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 gets in the way of your actual like experience because you keep going back and forth between like different like reviews and graphs and be like oh this this is this many fps per dollar and is that many fps per dollar and this and this and and it's like all these stupid mo like all these stupid gaps and margins and whatever like trying to paint this picture but there's like it's missing so much evidence and context and like elaboration and like things that just never get touched on that it's like it's it is it's a waste of your time to be honest it's a waste of your time stressing about because none of it's actually contextually appropriate so yeah Hopefully this makes sense and uh, hope you guys can get over the fear of buying what you want to buy. So...